hello. So it's a, uh, it's Friday, and uh, I got an email from Justin Blair of Friday Night Fights, um, kind of I don't know late morning yesterday, and I wasn't really able to respond for a little while. Um, and finally, we you know got on the same page, being able to talk to each other. He's like, I know this is a long shot, <laughs> um, but someone pulled out of a fight or, you know, couldn't make it with travel or whatever the issue was, these things happen, um, kind of last minute, and if it, if there's any chance that I'd be able to fight the next night, um, on the card, and, uh, be rematching this, uh, woman I fought about a year ago, Angela Hill, uh, as I sh you know, I'm gonna be coming from work, <laughs> uh, so there were a couple of things to iron out, like, you know, I'd be getting there kind of late, I can't take the day off, so go to work, um, get to the venue at maybe like 9.45, fight at maybe 10.30. Um, Justin was totally down. He was like, whatever you need, you know, just come in, let everyone know that you're here and we'll get you set up. Um, so I contacted Augie um, to come corner for me and he's crazy like me. So he's like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so um, for those of you who have been asking, you know, when is your next fight? It's today. Um, and uh, what's kind of cool about it um, is that A, I get to fight, which is my favorite. Um, but B is that what really irritates me about fighting outside of Thailand um, is that, you know, I've said this before, is that all these fights are really, really built up. And people train, you know, they take like six months off between fights, which incidentally it's been about five months for me, but not because I want it to be. <laughs> um, and so I, I kind of don't like this whole, you know, only train really hard for a fight and then you only fight when you know you can win and, um, you know, you kind of try to create this perfect situation, whereas I feel like fights are completely imperfect situations. I've never been 100% in a fight. It's always some kind of small injury or um, sickness or, you know, whatever your thing is. Um, and so having about 24 hours notice takes a lot of that away <laughs> which is kind of nice it's, it feels kind of Thai style the anyone anywhere anytime type of thing um, I saw an interview with uh, Vanderlei Silva a little while ago where he said they changed their name they changed their size but you know I just go in and fight and so uh, last night when I was figuring everything out my husband texted me and he said they changed their name they changed their shorts <laughs> you just fight anybody which is funny um but so I'm pretty excited about it um Angela and I had a good fight last time um she won it was a unanimous decision she fought really well she's a good fighter um and I think she's undefeated right now um and we kind of had a little bit of beef outside of the ring afterwards which was just stupid um she and I just disagreed on um I don't know, a number of things having to do with publicity and, and basically having the videos up online and that type of thing. Um, and I totally understand where she's coming from, but at the same time, um, anyone who fights me knows that I have all my fights up online. They probably, you know, watch them. So um, I, this fight will go up. So um, hopefully that's understood. Um, but I look forward to fighting her again. Uh, I had a lot of fun in that fight. Um, we're probably both much better fighters. It's been a year. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about it. <laughs> uh, I just went down to the city real quick this morning to get a physical, um, which is required by the WKA to fight. Um, I passed it, which was nice. And, uh, so I'll be heading down to work after resting a little bit. Um, and then from work, I'll be heading over to the fight. Uh, so, I don't know, um, glad I train a lot <laughs> so that, uh, so that I'm able to do this, but at the same token, you know, I haven't been preparing for this fight, so it's a, it's a very interesting test in what it means to prepare for a fight, um, because there's the physical preparation of how you train, but there's also the preparation of, you know, being able or willing to step in on short notice, um, and uh, I think that there are different types of fighters, um, and it's this is not a, a judgment in either way, but 
Um, I always really, really respect the fighters who um, just want to fight. People like Stacy Scapiccia, who um, I interviewed. She's just an awesome girl who, uh, you know, she wants to fight. She fights all kinds of different people, and she's just awesome. So this makes me feel like I'm kind of in the same plane with her, um, moral-wise, and that feels good. So I'll let you guys know how it goes, um, and talk to you soon.